make sure these are squats we can be proud of. And so again, this is another group doing an example of what baseline fitness is supposed to look like at home, going five, four, three, two, one, um, five jumping jacks, four squats, um, three sit-ups, two push-ups, and then one burpee, then rinse and repeat. These guys are gonna do this 10 times today, and again, you'll notice, those of us who've got a little more stuff on our belt, um, we, we look a little better because we've been doing it a little bit more. Those of us who haven't done it quite as much, it's new. We're, we're still working on getting our routine down, right? But those of you who are new to prep, we're just hoping to give you a, uh, something of an example to follow. Um, I can make a note right now that, that very often the bigger mistakes tend to be not going all the way down on the squats. That's really common, right? Ideally, we want the butt coming off the feet. If you notice my little friend on the end here, she isn't quite there yet. She's new to her prep stuff. Um, the other one is sometimes the push-ups, right? A lot of us need a lot of work on our push-ups. And then again, the idea is do this as fast as you can, um, and then as you get in better shape, the, the time should come down. So you time it every time, you work really hard. If it's happening every day, you should be getting in better shape, and so your overall number should be coming down. Hey, Elena. Squats are terrible. And if you're doing this thing right, the, you know, the baseline fitness part, I've had some people get it done in maybe two minutes or three, right? These guys aren't working that pace today, but it, it's certainly doable in between five and 10 minutes, you know, for almost anybody. Although ideally, getting it under two minutes is a good target. And then when you get your 10, just, you know, quick sit. Tell some of us are getting tired. Those jumping jacks are getting a little bit uglier every time they come around.
Moose has about got it wrapped up. Finish up, guys. And again, part of why this is important is because even if you've got good skills, when you're exhausted, your body just won't do it. And so there's a certain amount of endurance that you just kind of need, a certain amount of strength that you just kind of need. And then there's a little bit of mental toughness, right, that you're pushing through it even though it's hard.